Okay. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You have entered exercise with me on Tuesdays. I'll be doing this for the next at least three or four Tuesdays. I can't tell you what time for show, but my goal is always to do between 7 a.m. and 10 a.m. Central Time. But as y'all see, it is 10, 16 a.m. Central Time. It could be any time. So that being said, just know that this was supposed to be initially on Zoom on Tuesdays, 6 or 7 p.m. Central Time. But I only have one person that really uh, confirmed. Until I get at least three, then I'm just going to come here as a pre-recorded, and then I'll share as a premiere. And those of you who catch it, y'all get on up here with me. Sit in the chair and do what you can. Stand up and do what you can. It's just going to be strictly exercises. The Zoom is going to be 10 minutes of exercise and then learn some dance movement, some slow dance movement. So y'all let me know in the comments or y'all email me at R-E-A-D-I-I. R O X X 1966 at gmail.com. If you didn't catch that, go to my page, look in my description, and that email is right there. Email me saying in the description, subject line, Zoom dance classes. Okay. And then give me your number so I can text you, unless you're funny about that type of stuff, because I ain't going to call nobody back. I don't be calling folks. <laughs> I'm a texter, unless we need to talk, unless we just say, hey, let's chat. Okay, so with that being said, I'm about to start this music. Like I said, this could be between 10 minutes, maybe 12, something like that. So let's get it popping, y'all. <clears throat> Hope y'all can hear this music pretty good. Let me let this down some. Y'all share this live, hit the like button, y'all, and uh, ask any of your friends, because if we do it on Zoom on Tuesday nights, I have to see you. I get the baby see that you're doing it right. On here, of course, I don't have to. I'm not going to say get on the panel with me so I can see. No, I'm just going to do my thing. And uh, we're going to start off with isolations. Isolations when you move one part of your body at a time, as opposed to doing something like that. We're going to do isolations head, side to side, front and back, shoulders, rib cage, and then we'll work our legs. So y'all just follow along the best you can. I appreciate y'all. Make sure your feet are shoulder width apart, not wide, right here. I'm going to pull the screen down so y'all can see my legs. Eight times, eight times, right and left. Here we go. Back, four, count. Two, 
Like we on the same page. Hold on. There we go. I think this works. I'm going to start the real page. Do it right. Yeah, it mirrors me. Let me change it this one. That way it looks like we both going to the right as opposed to me going to the left and you going. your back to be flat like a table. I should be able to take a plate and put it on your back and eat. <laughs> so the way to do that, you stick your chest out a little bit and you go over. One, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, straight this way. Hey, you don't want to keep going down. You want to go out. 
You want to make sure you squeeze your stomach muscles tight and your gluteus maximum. Your gluteus maximum. Your stomach muscles and your butt muscles are always held tight. It will help you stay on the ground. It helps you move when you're doing your actual movement. Now come on up one time. One, two, three, four. Shake it out. Do that again. Down, two, three, four, and up. Two, three, and get some down. They can be on your waist. Or it can be on to the side and it can hold the It's up to you. Now we're going to hold it. And we're going to bounce. Eight counts. And down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It should be burning. Burning. Straighten up. Two, Three, four, and shake it out. Woo. You're going to walk up four, go back four. All right. And left. Four count. Starting with your right leg, and you go front, back, your left leg, and you go back. Okay? You're almost done. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Take it back to your left leg. Two, three, four. Go to the right. Your right leg. Two, three, four. Go to your left leg. Go ahead. Two, three, four. Take it back with your left leg. Right leg. Left leg. Right leg, your right leg, your left leg, your right leg, your left leg, your left, your right, your left, your right. Let's keep it up. One, two, three, four, back, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, two, one more set. Ten. One, two, three, four, back, two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three. Four, and that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope it was uh easy but a little challenging at the same time. Okay. So y'all get in the comments, let me know what y'all thought of that little exercise. Is that something you can see yourself doing once a week for four to six weeks at a time with some dance movement to it slow? Could you pick up the pace? Um would you like to learn African dance? Would you like to learn Caribbean dance, uh, hip hop, old school, the latest trending hip hop dances on TikTok and YouTube that you can see everybody doing? Um, or just stick to strictly exercise? Y'all get in the comments and let me know, okay? Uh, how long? This is 18 minutes. So, actuality, the exercise itself shouldn't be no more than 15 minutes because all we're doing is isolations with a little warm up. Now, if we was to continue like straight up exercising without no stopping, me not talking, we started and we go right through it, it would be like 12 to 15 minutes. And then if I keep going, I will pick up the pace of more cardio. The pace will pick up, the song will pick up, and the movements will pick up. We'll be learning more movements. We're putting together. You remember what came first, what came second, what came third. Okay. And that's why I need to see y'all so I can make sure your back is flat and you're not contracting when you should be releasing. Stuff like that. Or your legs are right. You're not uh, hyperextending. And uh, your knees are slightly bent, like I'm telling you. And you pulled up out of your sacrum. And you're squeezing your abdominals and your glutes. So y'all let me know. All I need is three people. People that's going to commit just one day a week. Let me know if the evenings are best on Tuesdays or what day is best or what time is best. Are you not working like that? Or you can, you're working, but you can take out 10 o'clock in the morning. 
You know what I'm saying? This is good for us because this is how I do my dance. Like right now, I'm finna end this and I'm finna do my dance uh, content for the day. But without me doing it, this first, my dance don't come out as well. I don't feel as well doing it. Even though I might get over and keep doing it and then it's only for 30 seconds and it look good and it's over with. But I, <laughs> I'm out of breath. Uh, I feel stiff. But me doing this first, it makes a big difference, especially taking my iron pill and taking vitamins and stuff like that. Because I just turned 58, y'all. I'm not no spring chicken. I got to do a little extra stuff. Hmm. What's going on here? This thing about, oh, let's think of the head. It came off while I was exercising. It has been everywhere. Anyway, y'all, thank y'all. appreciate y'all. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe. If you're not subscribed, hit the notification, become a member, send a super chat, send cash apps. Malachi the Goat 13, that's M A L A C H I D A G O A T 1 3. And it's a profile picture of me with my back turned. I got braids in my head, and my back is turned. That's how you know that'll be me. Again. Get in the comments and let me know what you think of what I just did today. And would you continue this at least for a four to six week session, if not for the rest of your life? Because everybody got to take a break. I wouldn't do this every Tuesday with y'all and uh, commit to that for a year. No, I would commit to four to six weeks and then we'll, you know, revisit and see what's going on in our lives. Do we need to take a break? Is this something that's really working out for us? Y'all get what I'm saying. I love y'all.